Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 5. So what happened in the previous episode is that Sheldon became a bad boy because he couldn't get his hair cut from the barber that has been cutting his hair for like forever and then we saw that Howard actually started training to go to the space station and god I'm so excited, I hope he will go to space in this season because we have a couple of episodes left yeah hopefully everything will happen you know like in season finale like we're going to space wedding in space i don't know everything is space yeah i'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today so let's talk in guys let's get started hey want to spend some time playing the new star wars game this weekend mm, i don't know i kind of promised myself i'd get off the computer be more physically active get some exercise <laughs> we're about to walk up three flights of stairs <laughs> It's more than enough. Good point, I'm in. Let's do it like the old days. You talking gaming marathon? Yeah, start Saturday morning, go 48 hours, sleeping bags, junk food. And turn off our phones so our moms can't call. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your mom. Like <laughs> all right, let's do it. 48 hours of Star Wars Yay. gaming. It's on like older on. <laughs> hey, Sheldon, where are your weekend? Starting Saturday morning, Star Wars marathon. <laughs> Movies or video games? Or board games, or trading card games, or Legos, <laughs> or dress up, or comic books, or dramatic readings of novelization. Everything! Yes <laughs> Gentlemen, as much as I'm sure Sheldon would enjoy playing intergalactic make-believe, he and I have other plans. We are attending my Aunt Flora's 93rd birthday party. Just Aww. tell her I can't come. She'll be disappointed if we don't show up. She's 93. She won't be disappointed for very long. Ooh. Now, hang on. I followed all the protocols set forth by you in the relationship agreement. Amy, the relationship agreement was not designed for either one of us to get our way. I use it to get the right way. <laughs> Your the way. The fact that the right way is also my way is a happy coincidence. <laughs> You gave me your word. You're coming with me. Well, Mr. Sheldon. Yeah, well, who wants to spend the whole weekend running around a bunch of pretend planets battling made-up monsters? That's for babies. It's got lightsabers. Yeah, please, Amy, it's got lightsabers. <laughs> Hello, Stuart. Hey, Sheldon. Help you with anything? Yes, I'm attending a party this weekend for a 93-year-old woman. <laughs> Can you recommend a gift? Put a tennis ball in the end of Excalibur, <laughs> make a pretty badass cane. Imagine who would actually get it, that would be hilarious. Uh, collector's edition Batman utility belt. Maybe she could use it as a wearable pill caddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sheldon, that's it. That's all I got. No, it's not your fault. This woman's impossible to shop for. I'd make fun of Sheldon for having girl problems if I wasn't in shock that Sheldon has girl problems. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you don't want to go to the party, just don't go. You're a grown man. Act like one. Tell Amy you want to spend the weekend having a sleepover and playing video games with your friends. <laughs> I downloaded an app that might be helpful in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'm smart as a whip. I should be able to figure this out. Hey, listen, I kind of made plans with the guys this weekend, but then I wondered, because we're in this relationship beta test, if I should have asked you first. Then I thought, if I did check with you first, you'd think that I was taking things too seriously, and then, and then I got... Overthinking. <laughs> Classic. You don't have to check with me. Do whatever you want. Guess I was hoping for a different reaction, but okay. Maybe that you'd be a little upset, and then you'd realize that I'm a stallion that has to run free. And... <laughs> I'm an actress, ask me again. <laughs> Do you mind if I spend the weekend playing video games with the guy? The entire weekend? You mean I wouldn't see you at all? But I just... No, no. I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> Good acting, baby. You can't put a saddle on Leonard Hofstetter. My, is it getting hot in here? I poppy. <laughs> Aye, poppy? <laughs> what is that? An acting choice. You got a problem with that, poppy? <laughs> Like, nope. Uh-uh. Yeah. Penny. 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 Well, now Sorry, we have Stallion. a problem. Hello, Penny. I just stopped by to bring you this gift. Gummy bears, <laughs> thank you. Now that you're in my debt. 
Please manipulate Amy into releasing me from my commitment to attend her aunt's tedious birthday party. Not a chance. Nah, right. I thought the candy might not be enough, so let me up the ante. <clears throat> These are Cooper coupons. <laughs> These Cooper are coupons? various things I can do for you. Oh, this is a fun one. This is an afternoon with me at the California <laughs> Science Center where I point out their mistakes. Keep an eye on those expiration dates. I've been burned more than once. <laughs> All right, sweetie, I'm not going to get involved in your relationship. Oh, come on. It's just a simple favor. Now, when's the last time I asked you to do something for me? Yesterday. You made me look in your ear to see if there was a ladybug in it. <laughs> when is the last time I asked you to do something that wasn't a medical emergency? Yesterday. You made me look in your ear to see if there was a ladybug in it. <laughs> All right, then. I have no choice but to go on to plan B. Run around outside with a wet head and try to catch a cold. Good morning. Hello. You sure you're OK with this? Yes. I decided to find a way that I could have this experience and enjoy it. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Oh, don't thank me. You thank wireless technology. I realize I can go to your aunt's awful party and still spend the whole day gaming with my friends. Sheldon, my relatives are going to want to talk to you, and you're going to be sitting there playing a game? Isn't that a little rude? Headset. I won't hear a word the old geezers are saying. <laughs> You know, if playing that game is more important to you than honoring your commitment to me, and fine, go home and play your game. Thanks. Aww. Oh, I feel like Here Amy gotta be go. furious when she's the back. Game. The game offers us a choice between playing for the Republic and the light side, or the Sith Empire and the dark side. We're always the good guys. In D&D, we're lawful good. In City of Heroes, we're the heroes. In Grand Theft Auto, we pay the prostitutes promptly and never hit them with a bat. <laughs> Those women are prostitutes? You said they were raising money for stem cell research. <laughs> It's so easy to hey treat guys, children. I got a surprise. Bernadette's gonna be playing with us, so that's pretty cool. All huh? right, sure it is. You invited your girlfriend? This is supposed to be our weekend. I had no choice. Last night, she said, why don't we go out for brunch tomorrow and then maybe the Arboretum? And I said, well, no. I promised the guys I was gonna play a video game with them all weekend. And she said, that sounds <laughs> I think like it's fun. A Can lie. I come too? And then I didn't answer for a second. And then she said, well, do you not want me to come? And then I bought her a new laptop in the game and she's parking the car right now. <laughs> This <laughs> 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 oh, wrong, it's still funny. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's payback. Oh, what's wrong? My boyfriend's a jerk. <laughs> well, I know he didn't cheat on you, so what happened? I had to go to my aunt's party all by myself, and everybody was like, Where's his boyfriend you're always talking about? Is he real, or did you make him up like Armin the miniature horse breeder? <laughs> I feel sad for Amy. Armin just wanted to show Sheldon off to my family. Sure, I get that. I mean, he's your first boyfriend and all. Not just my first boyfriend, he's the best boyfriend. I mean, think about it. I'm dating Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on purpose. Amy, sometimes when you're in a relationship with someone you really care about, the sucky part is it leaves you open to getting hurt. Do you ever worry about Leonard doing that to you? <laughs> That's hilarious, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dr. Rostenkowski, it may interest you to know that saying pew 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 isn't as effective as pressing your blaster key. Pew! <laughs> Raj, Imperial Troopers on your tail. Got him! All right, I think we got them all. Let's divide up the loop. Yay. Ooh, look at this pretty purple robe I just got. You should put on yours and then we'll match. I worked hard to get this armor. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it'd be nice if people knew we were a couple. Fine, I'll change. <laughs> <laughs> On point. <laughs> okay, we are gonna take turns bouncing a quarter off the table, and if it goes into this cup, the other person has to drink. Then you get to go again, and you cut. <laughs> <laughs> One point to Amy. Like so now I will drink this entire cup of beer and you will go again and we can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, okay, now I'm gonna drink this entire cup and then I'm going to drink another one. Okay, seriously, stop. What the <laughs> I spent a lot of my childhood throwing coins into wishing wells hoping for friends. At a certain point, oh. you start doing trick shots just to keep things interesting. <laughs> 
That's so sad. That'd be my boyfriend. Happier playing his dopey Star Trek game with his friends than hanging out with me. Wars. Star Wars, they get all cranky when you mix the two up. What's the difference? There is absolutely no difference. <laughs> How do I get him to treat me better? Usually a first move out of the gate is you withhold sex, but that will work better after Sheldon hits puberty. <laughs> I'd say give him the silent treatment. No, Ooh. he loves that. Mm. Our record for sitting in a room together and not speaking to each other is six and a half hours. He said it was a magical evening. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna have to go with an oldie but goodie, making a scene. I don't think I'd be good at that. Yeah, no, that's why you're lucky to have me. Back in Omaha, there are two different restaurants I'm not allowed into, both Chili's. Bernadette, remember, your character's the healer in our group. You're in charge of healing all of us, not just Howard. My Howie Wowie has an owie. <laughs> Okay. That, that was the most sickeningly sweet thing I have. <laughs> Sheldon Cooper, I've got a bone to pick with you, and I'm about to do it in front of all your friends. Yeah, you pick Ooh. that bone. You pick that bone clean. And if you don't start treating me better, I'm leaving you for a miniature horse breeder named Armin. Armin who? Armin. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. left. Sheldon, she wanted to show you off to her family, and you stood her up, okay? I mean, look at this. Adorable smushy face. Smush, 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 smush. <laughs> You're squeezing too hard. Me. No, yeah. Sheldon hurt you. I think I understand. You're the one person who can say Sheldon Cooper is your boyfriend. I forget what I bring to the party and what I take away when I leave. Please accept these valuable Cooper Cooper. <laughs> what? For and Amy too. She doesn't want your stupid coupon. Science Center redeeming. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> well played, Amy Farrah Fowler. Let's, let me get my coat. A grumble, Leonard. <laughs> Excuse me. I had something to say. I was very much looking forward to this weekend. It was going to be like the old days, the, the four of us hanging out, playing video games before you guys all got girlfriends. Aww. Do you have any idea what it's like to be the only one without a girlfriend? Even if I get one someday, I'll still be the guy who got a girl after Sheldon Cooper! <laughs> and that's how a girl makes a scene. <laughs> right? You deserve your weekend. Come on, Amy, let's go. What about the science center? I'll let you hold my hair while I throw it. Rain check. I'm gonna go, too. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Well, I'll miss you more. No, I'll Just leave. <laughs> okay, now. This is the way it's supposed to be. Men together fighting the forces of evil. Here, here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was a good night. Howard Joe Wallowitz, I've been worried sick for two days and I know you turned off your phone. <laughs> oh my God, his mom is like outside the door. this chicken oh, you know what they say best things in life are free <laughs> you can raid my fridge anytime you want oh that's very kind of you there's Next time nothing I have a hankering to wash down a d-cell battery with a jar of old pickle juice i'll come and knock him hey raj you didn't send your rsvp in i'm supposed to ask you if you're bringing someone to the wedding i'll let you know well, could you make it soon? There's a battle royale going on over the seating charts in one corner, Bernadette's mom, and the other three, mine. <laughs> All right, uh, fine. I'm coming and I'm bringing somebody. Uh, Kutrupali plus one. Who are you bringing? Who are you bringing? <laughs> He's bringing me. Who are you bringing? Wow, what a bunch of nosy O'Donnells. <laughs> I'm not telling. I'm from Asia. I'm mysterious. Deal with it. Hello, Mommy, Daddy. How are you? Pretty good. Can't complain. Oh, I'm sure you can. Just give it a minute. <laughs> There's something I want to talk to you about. I I wasn't ready until now, but it's Ooh. finally happening. You're coming out of the closet, aren't you? We love you and we accept your alternate lifestyle. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> no, I'm not gay. I'm tired of trying to meet someone and I think I'd like you to help me find a, a wife. Aww. Just to clarify, 
a female wife. Yes! Matchmaking. Very smart move, son. Much better than marrying for love. <laughs> we married for love. And it's been wonderful. <laughs> Quantum physics makes me so happy. Wow, what a brush could have a wife by the end of the season. It's like looking at the Crazy. universe. Hi, guys got a minute? Sure, what's up? Well, I was thinking about Sheldon's little joke the other night about me eating all your food. No, oh, that was no joke. But <laughs> I understand your confusion as I am our group's resident cut up. Anyway, I got a little residual check from my commercial and I thought, hey, how about I get the guys a little thank you to pay them back? Ta-da! <gasps> A Ooh, vintage mint in box 1975 Mego Star Trek transporter with real transporter action. Hot darn. Where did you get that? That's from Stuart at the comic book store. You went to the comic book store by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Great it was woman. Fun. I walked in and two different guys got asthma attacks. Felt pretty good. Well, this calls for an expression of gratitude. Ooh, am I about to get a rare Sheldon Cooper hug? No, not this time. Then they wouldn't be special. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. <laughs> You're welcome. Leonard, I got you a label maker! Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was great. And I got you a transporter too! <laughs> oh, it's so easy to make the guys Look, happy. It was actually designed for my vintage Mr. Spock action figure. Oh, that's great. Let's open it up and put him in there. Oh, no, good lord, no. <laughs> It's oh, a rare thing, you can't open it. Box. Once you open the box, it loses its value. Yeah, yeah, my mom gave me the same lecture about my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, it was a lot more fun taking it out and playing with it. Are you sure you want us here when you meet this woman? Oh yes, in my culture it's expected to have a chaperone to oversee a first date. Plus I want to make a good impression and no offense, but with you guys here, I look like I'm 6'2". <laughs> Listen, I love your charming racist humor, but any chance you could not mock my religion while she's here? Yesterday you made fun of me for eating lox. It's different. Your people don't worship lox. Well, clearly you've never been to brunch with my cousins. <laughs> so arrange marriages. The parents just decide and then you have to get married? Uh, no, no. I get a say in it. But I'm sure whoever shows up will be better company than the threesome I've been having with Aunt Jemima and Mrs. Butterworth. Excuse me, are you Rajesh? Oh, yes. Uh, you must be Lakshmi. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, these are my, my friends. Uh, this is Bernadette. Hello. Uh, and this is Howard. Nice to meet you. You, too. <laughs> Please, have a seat. Aww. I'm thinking double wedding. Dr. Cooper. <laughs> Who's that? Dr. Cooper. Is someone there? Down here, on your desk. <laughs> what is an action figure talking? <laughs> is this a Spock, Spock, right? I need to speak with you. <laughs> You're going to right, Greg. The only logical explanation is that this is a dream. It is not the only logical explanation. <laughs> For example, you could be hallucinating after being hit on the head by, say, a coconut. Was I hit on the head by a coconut? I'm not going to dignify that with a response. Now, to the matter at hand, you need to play with the transporter toy. But it's mint in box. Yes, and to open it would destroy its value. But remember, like me, <laughs> you also have a human half. Consider this. What is the purpose of a toy? To be played with. Therefore, to not play with it would be... Illogical. Oh, damn it, Spock, you're right. <laughs> Sheldon, wait. <laughs> you have to wake up first. Oh, of course. Goody, goody, goody. <laughs> this is wrong. This is wrong. I'm so excited, but this is wrong. <laughs> I'm doing it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh. One to beam down, Mr. Scott. Aye, aye, Mr. Spock. Energize. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's so Energize. cute! No. <gasps> Don't be broken. Oh. No. <laughs> what did you make me do? It's dead. Okay, okay. Think. <gasps> he's gonna smoke with Leonard. 
It's We're only sneaking. logical. It's bad. It's bad. Well, I hope you saved room for chocolate lava cake. Impressive. That's what Raj know, what knows what to do for sure. Like His cooking well, is always amazing. I bet our parents are dying to know how things are going here. Well, let's see. Yep, three missed calls. Four missed calls, two text messages, and a failed video chat. I win. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to tell them? I'd like to tell them things are going well. Me too. But before we get their hopes up, we should probably make sure we're on the same page. What page are you on? <laughs> I'm on the one where I'm under a lot of pressure from my parents to get married and settle down and have a family, and I'm going to do it so they don't find out I'm gay. <sighs> Ooh. Say again? I know a fake marriage isn't an honest way to live, but you of all people should know how difficult it is to come out in our culture. Why me of all people? Well, there's a rumor back in New Delhi that you're, how shall we say, Comfortable in a sari? <laughs> I'm not gay. That's disappointing. You were exactly the kind of phony baloney husband I was looking for. And once again, my baloney likes girls. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You don't want to put a bite of that in your mouth without trying my homemade Chantilly cream. <laughs> yeah, okay, that time I heard it. <laughs> Two suns and no sunscreen. <laughs> you broke your toy and switched it with Leonard's. Mm. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're the one who told me to play with it. If I told you to jump off the bridge of the Enterprise, would you do it? If I got on the bridge of the Enterprise, I would never, ever leave. <laughs> you must right your wrong, Sheldon. Why? I got away with it. Leonard has his toy, and he's never going to open it, so he won't know it's broken. And I have a toy that isn't broken. Everybody's happy. You know what you are? Well, you're a green-blooded buzzkill. <laughs> well, perhaps it's time you beam on out of here. Fine. I will just use the transporter. Oh, right. You broke it. <laughs> Cooper to Enterprise, one to beam up. Energize. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Tiny spark, help. Ready for lunch? Yeah, one sec. Oh, good. Ma would have killed me if she found out I broke my retainer. <laughs> Can I run something by you? It's about Lakshmi. Yeah, sure. How are things going? We hit a couple of bumps. She lives over in Manhattan Beach, so it takes like an hour to get there. And she's a lesbian. <laughs> Then why did she even go out with you? She was looking for a husband so she can appear to be straight. And you know, it sounded crazy to me at first, but I'm actually thinking about doing it. Look, Howard, you're in a relationship. You know you have to make compromises. <laughs> yes, but my compromises are about which bedspread to buy or whose turn it is to do the laundry, Bernadette's or my mom's. <laughs> <laughs> Never it's yours. It's a great... Why don't you tell your parents you want to try to find someone else? You know, maybe one who hasn't slept with more women than you. This one wants to marry me. I might never find another one who does. Wait, so you're seriously thinking about marrying someone you're never going to have sex with? I can't believe your attitude. I thought you were in favor of gay people getting married. <laughs> yes, to other gay people. <laughs> what? Do you hear how homophobic you sound? <laughs> It's going to bother him for life. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well done, Sheldon. Oh, I don't want a broken toy. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. What? Nothing. I said nothing. I cannot believe you guys aren't going to play with these. I told you, you don't. It's mint in box. I just think it's a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. I'm just looking at the box. Perhaps you should look with your eyes and, and not your muscular Nebraska man hands. <laughs> Leonard, I bought you this because I wanted you to have fun with it. I don't want it to just sit in this box. You're right. I mean, it's uh -oh. from you. I'm never going to sell it. I'm opening it. Yes. <laughs> and it's all fell apart. 
Oh, nice job, man hands. <laughs> I didn't break it. I, I guess Stuart sold it to me like this. Yes. Yes, he did. That is a perfectly satisfying and plausible explanation. Let's all be mad at Stuart. You know, I paid a lot for this. Let's take it over there and show him. Absolutely. It was me. I opened your toy, discovered it was broken, and didn't tell you. Why would you open mine? I didn't. That was a lie. <laughs> I opened my own toy, and it was already broken, so I switched them. <laughs> You should talk to Stuart. I can't because that was a lie. <laughs> Just tell the truth. Yours, my Mr. Spock doll came to me in a dream and forced me to open it. And when the toy broke, I switched it for yours. Later, he encouraged me to do the right thing, and I defied him. And then I was attacked by a Gorn. <laughs> okay, that I believe. Mm. <laughs> That's Leonard, a reasonable Penny, I, just, I want you both to know that I regret my actions towards the two of you. That's a lie. <laughs> So is that one mine? And Leonard, even though I don't have one anymore, I hope you have fun playing with it. And that's a lie, it's right? A big fat whopper. <laughs> this is a treat. What brings you guys by? Raj, Howie told me what's going on with you and Lakshmi. You told her? I told everybody. <laughs> we both think you shouldn't marry this woman. So while I'm waiting for this mysterious perfect match who may or may not exist, I'm supposed to just be alone? Not necessarily. I think we found someone for you to cuddle with. <gasps> oh my goodness. What? That was a dog the, the whole time. You're the cutest little yogi ever. Oh, that is you so cute. Me? Her. We thought you two would hit it off. <laughs> I think we already have. Thank you guys so much. Aww. Let's go see if you fit in my man purse. <laughs> That's your sexual my ass. <laughs> but it's cute! Well, guys, once again, these episodes were absolutely amazing. First, I want to talk about Sheldon and Amy when Sheldon betrayed Amy and didn't go to the party. I think it's a really bad move for Sheldon. I mean, Amy did everything, right? Following the agreement, like relationship agreement, she did everything. So Sheldon knows that he's going there and then here is, oh, I'm gonna stay and play with my friends. Even though when he agreed to go to the party, he still said that he's gonna take a laptop with him and talk to his friends. It was like, I know maybe Sheldon not really interested in this kind of parties, but still Still, it's uh, really good for Amy, like she's happy for him to go and show up to the family. So I think it was a bit bad. I would be really furious, really upset with Sheldon. And even Cooper coupons wouldn't even help. I'll be like, take them back. <laughs> I don't need your coupons. So yeah, felt a bit sad for Amy. And then also the situation with Raj appeared when he started saying, oh, it's supposed to be a guy's night. I also get it. And I think that's how they should establish from, from the beginning if you know what i mean so it's like if i want to hang out for example with the girls i'll be like don't invite your boyfriends i don't want to hang out with them i want to hang out with you like good old times but not just someone bringing we're supposed to pretend like oh my god yay we're having fun but you know the groups like girls and boys they have their jokes and stuff like that so yeah i think they should have like especially the girls they would be like okay just go and you know enjoy but not amy she's supposed to go with uh, sheldon to the party <laughs> other guys could have hang out easily the second episode with rush again i feel so sad for him i mean you can clearly see he's not like struggling but he's really upset around the guys because howard is about to get married sheldon has a girlfriend leonard with with a girlfriend and he's lonely so i guess it's like pressuring him and obviously his parents pressuring him so yeah as he said he just wants to get married so his parents will be off his shoulders and no one's gonna bother him so he's gonna be like yeah i'm married and yeah just leave me alone but here you see he's got a little dog it's so sweet from howard and bernadette that they gave him his present maybe he will put all of his love and caring to this little baby doggy <laughs> oh my god i'm so happy so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends and don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and i'll see you in the next video bye guys